I was no longer the center of my life, and therefore I could see God in everything. Hello my friends and welcome to True Heroes. Today as we come to the end of the school year, we are going to talk about the life of Saint Bede the Venerable, who spent his whole life studying and learning of the things of God and his creation so that he could draw closer to God and love him the more. Let us begin his story. Bede was born near St. Peter and St. Paul Monastery at Wearmouth, Jarrow, England. He was sent there when he was three and educated by two of the abbots there. He became a monk at the monastery, was ordained when 30 years old, and except for a few brief visits elsewhere, spent his entire life in the monastery, devoting himself to the study of scripture and to teaching and writing. He is considered one of the most learned men of his time and a major influence on English literature. His writings are a veritable summary of the learning of his time and included commentaries on the Pentateuch, which is the first five books of the Bible, and various other books of the Bible, theological and scientific treatises, historical works, and biographies. Besides the many books that he copied, he composed 45 of his own, including 30 commentaries on books of the Bible. His best known work is Historia Ecclesiastica, a history of the English church and people, which he completed in 731. Essentially, it is an account of Christianity in England up until the year 729 and is a primary source of early English history. Although eagerly sought by kings and other notables, even Pope Sergius, Bede managed to remain in his own monastery until his death. Only once did he leave for a few months in order to teach in the school of the Archbishop of York. Bede died in 735, praying his favorite prayer, and we all know this prayer very well. Quote, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. He died in Wearmouth Jarrow on May 25th. Called the Venerable to acknowledge his wisdom and learning, the title was formalized at the Council of Aachen in 853. He was a careful scholar, the father of English history, and he was also the first to date events AD. So you remember, whenever you see a date, you always see BC or AD after it, before Christ, or not after death, and I'm going to bring this up because I hear this all the time, AD does not stand for after death. It stands for the Latin Anno Domini, which means the year of the Lord. So he was the first one to start adding that to the end of dates. And in 1899, he was declared the only English doctor of the church. From the life of St. Bede the Venerable, which was a short account, let us develop in ourselves a true love of learning. We all have a certain repugnance to studying. We want nothing to do with school, classes, teachers, homework, any of that. But we don't realize that anything and everything you learn, no matter what subject you are studying, will help you learn more about God and his creation. How do you understand that there are three persons in one God, ten commandments and seven sacraments? Because you learned how to count in math class. How is it that you can know the lives of the saints? Because you learn how to read and you can take up a book and read about them. How do you know and understand the order with which God created the universe? Because you study science and you can see how the created universe works. So let us study and learn of God and his creation. Tomorrow is the feast of St. Augustine of Canterbury, who helped with the conversion of the country of England and its king, Ethelbert, to Christianity. Until then, God bless you all, my friends. St. Bede the Venerable, pray for us.